Hello, welcome to Mogelson Art. I'm Deb Mogelson and I am going to do the very last, uh, hopefully finish this one up. This is called Divine Espresso. It's the very first one, but hopefully I'm going to finish it today. So um, I'm going to start with a couple of washes and just a few things and we're going to finish it up. So what I'm going to start with is a wash of Ketsura Blue and a little bit of green. I just want to tone down this over here and make it darker. I'm going to be a little bit light on this side. And I want this coffee cup to pop. So I'm going to just go a little bit and I don't have any white in this. I just have just plain pure color. But as you can see, it's transparent, and when it dries, it will have this nice wash on here. Put a little green on this side just to change it up. And you're already going to see this coffee cup pop out. I'm not worried about the steam because that'll come later. I can finish that up. I don't really know how long this video is going to last. I might have to cut it short and crop it a little bit, but you can at least see where I'm going with this. So I'm going to let that be. Then I'm going to start going darker over here with the coffee cup on this side. I keep the coffee cup green and yellow. You can see the red coming through. Okay, so over here, I'm going to start with a nice bright red. And we're going to just darken this corner over here. So I like to play against my lights and darks. And you can just see here that that's just going to be coming over here. And then on this side, I'm going to go lighter. And just play around with color a little bit. Being careful to keep the shape still there. I have pure color here so I don't have to worry about mixing. I'm just laying the color down. I notice I'm going light against dark, dark against light. More dark over here. And then I'm going to go right into that color up here. And just blend that. Use a little water to blend. want to go even darker, I'm going to add a little black, uh, Katsura Blue over here with the red. So I really want to get this thing to pop. Put that underneath here for shadow. To go kind of fast. I don't want to be in too much of a hurry. Or I'm going to think it through and but just also have fun with it too. I don't want to think too much. Have fun first. I want the coffee dark over here on this side, so I'm going to add blue over here. And we'll bring it into this color here. I'll warm that up. A little 
little red over here. Coffee cup. I have a light background underneath that so when I come in and it's transparent, you'll see that. I still want to keep the coffee cup green. So I went with a light green over here. Being careful just to blend that in. But not worry too much about edges, things like that. And the color underneath, that nice beautiful cream color will come through. Dark over here, add some shadows. I love the red, the red and the green together. And more blue underneath here. And more shadow. Soften that up. I'm using water to soften this up now. done. Add a little yellow and red to make mud here for coffee. I don't usually have brown. I mix my browns with different colors and you'll get beautiful browns and neutrals that way. I like this color. I'm going to bring it over here, just a smidgen, just so there's some continuum of... And this is opaque. So it's just a little lighter over here, too. It's still dark, but it's not so bold over here. You don't want it too dark. Just a little bit of light will add a little more of that drama on the other side. <clears throat> Going to continue on with the saucer here. Adding some more shape to it. This is still wet down here, so I'm going to bring that in. I love how the red's working with the green. You can see a lot of the color coming through. And then I'm just going to come in and fix this edge, these edges here on the coffee cup. Not too much, but just a little. Oh, I like that. <clears throat> Learn some more light up here to define that handle. Bring it down, and there I am right here. Fix the edge. Now this is dark over here, but it's picking up the color that I have in the background and all this dark. Tighten that up a little bit. Along here, just bring that around. So, since it's a bat darker background now, this light green will just pop. And I'll add a little yellow just to have some fun on that top. about the 
being perfect. Let's add a little yellow on the top of this thing here too. And down here. Sometimes it's nice once you find a color that will be a good highlight, you can use it to continue on on wherever you want it. Okay, now for these stripes, I'm going to go with that red that I love so much. I'm just going to highlight that in there. Got a wet brush. And it's going to actually bleed into the other colors. I don't mind that. It's okay. like this a lot. Okay. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the orange. Use a lot of water here. And I'm just going to go and follow these steam lines. the idea of some little bit of steam coming in here. Go right into the coffee. Here we go too, right into the coffee. And when I get done with this and it dries, I'm going to let it sit for a little while. I might do a few little touches here and there. And then um, once I'm done, I'll put some varnish on. I usually put four coats of varnish on. I paint the sides black and I'm ready to sell. A little highlight of orange in the coffee here just to add a little color. So that is done. We'll see you later. Keep painting.